a different stream though. We rotate device back. Am I finally live, everybody? I see nobody in here so far. Everybody's probably waiting. So we're gonna see. Okay. And we're gonna close this. Okay, I see one person in. <laughs> we got people coming in. I wonder if it might be you. I'm guessing a lot of people. Oh wait, no, I see. I see people. More people chatting. Hello, everybody. Hopefully, you can hear me. Having a lot of issues. I have this new camera that I've been spending 30 minutes trying to figure out how to go live with, and it's not working. So instead, you're going to get the cell phone version. Hopefully, everything's okay with that. We're sitting here at the media center with lots of amazing genealogists all over the place. So let's let's get some people waving. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of walking around. I'm very sorry for the uh, technical issues we've been running into. DJI Osmo, your DJI Pocket is terrible for live streaming. I'm very disappointed, but we're gonna focus on Roots Tech. Okay, so since I'm not using this stuff, you're all going to get to watch me put it away live while I talk a little bit about Roots Tech. It's been a lot of fun so far. Just did a talk today. Spoke about the Alliance Colony. Went quite well. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh no, no. It's not working. We're turning that off. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Putting that away. And then we're going to walk around in a second, so get ready. Hopefully you're all doing well. Sign any autographs yet, Maven? No, I have not signed any autographs. I have taken a lot of photos, though. It's really hard to remember to take photos. Hopefully everyone in the media center isn't thinking I'm crazy talking to myself, but I'm talking to a lot of people. <laughs> Quality's good? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Find the wiki tree. John, we are going to find the wiki tree booth. Don't you worry. We're going to stop at a lot of booths. We're going to stop and say hello to a lot of people. It's not going to be quite as... Um, as, as even as I walk around as this gimbal product was supposed to be. So you'll all have to just bear with me a little bit. So um, right now here next to me, we have Melly Alexander who won my Roots Tech Pass giveaway from a few years ago. <laughs> so thank you, thank you everyone for being here. Hopefully we don't have too many people waiting in the uh, upcoming live streams which will never happen because this is that live stream so put this stuff away and if anyone has any requests of booths you'd like me to go and check out be sure to let me know we'll be hitting up the wiki tree booth we'll be hitting up um reclaim the records we'll be hitting up iajgs there's also a few booths that I've seen that have some interesting stuff going on, including one of my favorite things to talk about, facial recognition. So it turns out Scott Genzer is not the only one doing a lot of facial recognition stuff, and Compare a Face is not the only thing available for comparing a face. So for those who don't know, Compare a Face is the family search tool available, um, where you can upload two photos and see, are they the same person? Although there is obviously issues with it. <laughs> there is a uh, confidence level with that technology. Okay. So, slowly seeing, slowly seeing more and more people joining. Hopefully we'll get up to our typical amount of 60 or 70 people or so. Lots of stuff going on here in the booth. <laughs> say what? I'm still on? Would you like to say hello? <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself, everybody? Um, okay, I'm Elizabeth, um, and my website is Heart of the Family. It's uh, not intuitive, it's thefamilyheart.com because Heart of the Family was taken. So, uh, saying hi to all of um, the friends out there. And have a great time here. Yeah, we got Jenny over here. I'm Jenny Horan, like herding cats, genealogy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Oh, hi. I'll say hello. I'm Sunny Morton. I'm a presenter here at Roots Tech, and I'm here with your DNA guide. I work with Family Tree Magazine, and the energy here is great. It's better than last year. Last year was weird. Yeah, last year was, was pretty weird. Very empty feeling, right? Very empty feeling. 
Yeah, yeah. Very few masks this year compared to last year. <laughs> yeah, a lot of hugging, a lot of handshaking, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, Irene, this is the correct address. I, I have been having some seriously terrible issues with this camera I bought specifically for walking around. So instead we're going through my cell phone. That's what I'm streaming from. So I'm just putting everything away so that we can then go and start walking around. And this stream is going to be going for a while. I'm going to be going till about six o'clock people. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So Whew, wrapping, wrapping up. So, hello from the Netherlands. Actually, speaking of Netherlands, John Warren was just around here. <laughs> so, but welcome, welcome. Guten Abend. I guess uh, it's not it's not evening there in the Netherlands, is it? It's a lot further ahead. Oh, it's not even. I'm used to six hours ahead. It's eight hours ahead from here, right? I'm used to that East Coast ahead of it, so, yeah. Oh, Irene, um, just tell her to go onto my YouTube channel, and hopefully she should find it under the lives. I know there's two that say upcoming. Not quite sure how to get rid of those, unfortunately. Serious, serious technical issues here today. Sorry if I'm being repetitive about that. I'm not happy about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> kind of disappointed. So, okay. Uh -huh. right. And being that we're in the beautiful media center, I actually have a place to put my stuff and walk around and not worry about it. At least, I don't know. I don't think I have to worry about it, do I? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I mean, every year. That's the, like one of the best benefits getting to be a media person. So, hello. Oh, hello from Portugal. Hello from Netherlands. Hello from... Let's see who else. I usually I do my show everyone who's here thing, but I can't do it right now. So, all right. Now it's time to walk around, everybody. So right. I will see you all throughout. So it was nice meeting you. Bye, everybody. Hello from Portugal and the Netherlands and Connecticut. If you're represented there, I love you all. Mwah. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, have fun. Thank you. It was nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Okay, everybody. So. You're gonna see a bit of me, or you're gonna see a bit of flipping around too, if possible. There we go. So we've got the media center over here. We have some amazing genealogists right here. We have Connie Knox, say hello, another YouTuber, and Daniel Horowitz from hello, My guys. Heritage, the chief genealogist. No, expert genealogist. Expert genealogist. I don't want to no. be a chief of anything, not even my home. You heard it here today, folks. <laughs> Bye. So this is this is kind of the big big spot. So let's walk around everybody and explore the expo hall. So hopefully you can hear me uh, when I have it flipped the other way. So we've got a big expo hall over here, and we're gonna we're gonna start going this way. Um, everyone, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me well while I'm still uh, talking like this. Hopefully you should. So we got lots and lots of booths. But all sorts of stuff. You can buy books. And I don't know if I have a lot of folks who have Japanese ancestry, but there are Japanese ancestry research. Hello. Hi, everyone. We're, I'm doing a live stream right now uh, on YouTube. Don't know if you want to talk about your products. I, I cover all sorts of uh, ancestries all over. Yeah, sure, so. sure. Uh, so we are a Japanese company, obviously. And we do like we search like Japanese ancestors for our clients because, for example, in the U.S. and for the Japanese Americans, it is extremely difficult to get their ancestry information outside of Japan. So that's why we are here to help like those people so that we can get their information. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yep. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And hopefully I'll get some of my users to go check you out. We talk about a lot of the Asian-based DNA tests a lot of time, uh -huh. like uh, 23 Ma Fong and WeGene. And I, I th is there one based out of Japan? Do you uh, know? Not the one is out the roots I don't think. No, okay. Yeah. So, but it's always good because there's so many people in, in the yeah. U.S. with Japanese ancestry, and yep, yep. I know, I know, I get a question about Asian ancestry all the time, and uh -huh. you know, 
when it comes to Eastern Asia, I know the least. <laughs> so, yeah. But I don't know if someone needs any help with like a Japanese ancestor research, you know, we're here to, we're glad to help you guys. So. Very cool. And so, let's take a look at some of what they have here. So, lots of cool stuff. So, definitely check them out. So, thank you very much. Y'all right, have you. a good Roots Tech. Okay. So, lots of people. And over here, we've got another booth. Oh. We've got some amazing genealogists here. We have a few people on the stream who are from the Netherlands. Oh, really? Yes, hello, yes. Hello, Alamal. Yes, hello, Alamal. And we are just walking around saying hello. So I don't know if you want to introduce yourselves, kind of just. You go first. Hi, I'm Michelle Dwyer Cohen. I'm the executive director of the Association of Professional Genealogists. Nice to say hi to everybody. We're having fun here at Rootstack. Oh, lots of fun. Absolutely. And I'm John Boer. Maybe you have seen my presentation this morning about genealogy in the Netherlands. So I'm here as a speaker, but I'm also the president of the APG. So um, hello to everyone, and I hope you have a good time online. Wonderful. Thank you both so much. Nice see you, Jared. Bye. Sean. All right. And of course, over here, we have to make a stop, everybody, at Reclaim the Roots. Or Reclaim the Roots. Reclaim the Records, excuse me. But the big question that we have, Alec, is uh, what's going on with uh, being sued? Yeah, I'm glad you asked me about being sued. <laughs> it's been rough out there, but thank you to competent counsel. I am confident that I will prevail in my legal challenges. Wonderful. Um, how much more do you want? <laughs> I mean, say as much as you want. This is live. This oh, is okay. yeah. We've got we've got 44 people watching live. Okay. It's going up and down. So, so I was born on a February 18th, 1995, in Oceanside, New York. Sorry, Oyster Bay, New York, in a hospital. And your social I, security number? <laughs> you know, that puts me in a tough position. As an open records advocate, I feel like I should be sharing it. You know, the Randy Schoenberg model is just give it to anybody who asks. I have a social somewhere. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm, I did it the wrong way. There we go. There we go. So, and then over there we have Brooke Schreier Gans as well. And let's 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 get a, a oh wait I keep flipping it around the wrong way there we go sorry to interrupt <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> so yeah so this is what's going on at Roots Tech hello, lots and lots of stuff to the Reclaim the Records booth we are talking to people about their records access challenges today um, how they can get records from places that are denying them wrongly and telling them about all the stuff we're working on some of which is not really in the public we can tell you. And uh, we have a lot of lawsuits in progress, some of which we never even publicly mentioned yet. We have one or two lawsuits we won that we never even publicly announced yet, but we already won them. And we have a lot of records coming uh, in the very near future that will be online for free forever for any use. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So be sure to check out Reclaim the Records. There's lots of cool shirts that they have. I'm sorry, you guys can't have can't, any candy. You can't have any candy, but... If you want to help support them, you are able to make donations. What's the best way for them to make a donation? We are at reclaimtherecords.org. .org because we're an organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Well, I am. I am getting no. a couple of questions. Of uh, could we get some credit card info from you as well, Alec? No, no, no. no. Uh, Reclaim the records. Uh, we have like a list of some of the stuff that we've done that is public on our website. <laughs> <laughs> at reclaimtherecords.org you can learn about some of our fun legal cases we do publish a lot of our, our court paperwork, the original requests we make, how the agency responds what doesn't respond in a different manner how our attorneys deal with it how their attorneys try to cite reasons why they don't think they have to give over public records to the public and eventually then the judges ruling. So we try to put that all online, um, they're all public records everything we get we share freely we don't charge for anything every time we win stuff whether it's winning through a court case or winning through a request or just getting, we just stick it online. And we link to it from our website at reclaimtherecords.org. We don't charge for any of it. There are no usage agreements. There are no copyrights. There are no logins or passwords or paywalls. It is public data being returned to the public for any use of the that Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So thank you so much. And now we're going we're gonna to keep walking around so everyone be sure. Check out Reclaim the Records. All right, so we're going to keep walking around here, everybody. Over here, we have the uh, Heritage Theater. So they've got lots of lots of different stuff going on. And, uh, also, uh, AR, uh, 
see some of what they have available. All right, let's keep walking around, everybody. So let's see if we can find a booth that was requested. So, oh, and we we have a perfect person here. I'm, so up? I'm live right now. Look, how are you? So you're you're live on the YouTube channel. So we got to meet. What was it? Two days ago. Yeah. So two days ago, and uh, he's working over at the the Jed Match booth, and uh, he knows a ton about Fig, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Especially since I just quit, you know. <laughs> so, but I'll be over at the the Jed Match yeah, booth. Yeah. So, See yeah. You later, guys. <laughs> All right. So let's keep walking around, everybody. So I'm seeing we're slowly, slowly getting up to our typical amount of into the 50s and 60s of people. Oh, of course, I say that and it drops down to show me 35 people. So <laughs> trying to keep an uh, eye on chat. So keep keep chatting it up, everybody. So let's uh, let's turn this around so you can see the expo hall. So the video is going to be a lot shakier than I was hoping it would. My camera didn't work right, so now I'm doing cell phone instead. So over here we have American Ancestors by NEHGS, the oldest genealogical society in the, I don't know, in the world, or I don't know, but hidden over here we have Melanie McComb. We have another another member of the team over here. Say hello, you're on live stream hello, right now. Hi. You got people all over the world looking at you. Oh, awesome. Yes, you are right, John. Melanie is a witch -treer. Yes. So unfortunately, everyone, Andy and Devin Lee are not here this year. So yeah, but yeah, hello. So we've got this wonderful booth. They got lots and lots of publications and hidden over there. We've got David Lambert, friend of the channel, who's been on multiple videos. But he's busy talking, so we're not gonna we're not gonna bother him right now. Maybe we'll bother him later. So lots of stuff, and their booth extends over to where they have a lot of other stuff as well. So you can see this year it's much more packed. Last year it wasn't quite as packed. And this is a large majority of the people. All right. So we're we've barely even started covering this. There's so much that we're going to look at everybody. And hopefully we've got This is a booth that we truly love. The people that we want to talk to are a little busy right now. But we're getting the DNA painter section. And of course, for those not familiar with DNA Painter, DNA Painter is an amazing genetic genealogy tool that I talk about a lot. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get Johnny uh, available here in a second, Johnny Pearl, who uh, I actually had interviewed in my first videos from Roots Tech in 2019 and 2020. So we're gonna probably come back around. So check out lots of stuff. There's that company Banyan DNA by Leah Larkin and a few others saw the presentation yesterday. Very interesting to see. They use pedigree collapse and multiple relations in a kind of similar Watto style thing. Um, let's keep walking around, see if we can get some attention of people. Oh. So here we have Shelly Tardashi talking. <laughs> So we'll keep walking around. Don't you worry, John. We're getting close to the Wiki Tree booth. We're getting very close to the Wiki Tree booth. So, okay, good. More people are finding the stream. Good, good. Big numbers. Yeah, we're getting we're getting into the 40s. And oh, do we see that orange over there, John? What could that be? What could that be? Okay. 
And look at that, John Tyner. We are at your favorite booth. Say hello, Eowyn. We are live on my YouTube channel. Hey, YouTube channel. John Tyner, hi. We have, we've got about 40, 40 people watching right now. And we had a couple of requests of we've got to see the Wiki Tree booth. So, and they have lots of lots of fun swag. Yeah. That's our thing. Yeah. And then they have my history twin. Everyone says all the time I look like him. And I, yeah, I could, I could see it. I could see it. So, we, we've, we've got some of the crew here. I know Mags is here this year, right? But she's. Yeah, Mags is actually. Um, she's speaking for Family Tree DNA. So oh, okay. She's around. Yeah. John Tyner says hello, Eowyn. Hi, John. So, yeah, Henry VIII. Yeah, I, I, I knew it was Henry. I couldn't remember which one, so yeah. I didn't want to... I didn't want to be the guy that said it wrong, but I'll admit I didn't quite think of it. You don't want to get on his bad side. Yeah, no, no, no. So, all right. So, there we go. We've got that Wikitree booth. So, for everyone not familiar with Wikitree, one of the collaborative family trees online. And uh, I know that I have a lot of Wikitree fans. I, I know that even though I'm a big genie guy, that, uh, you know, Wikitree is still quite an absolutely amazing site. And to me, I feel like both of them have their unique, um, their, their unique benefits is a, is a good way to say it, I guess you could say. So I'm much more of the mindset of use all the ability, all, all that's available. So wonderful. Well, I'm going to let them get to talking to people. So, bye everybody. So, let's keep going through. So, oh, hello, Weeping Scorpion, coming in from Faroe Islands. Good to see you. So now we're getting into some of the big booths. So the ancestry booth is massive. So you can see they got lots of crazy stuff going on here. They've got this little thing built over here. So for anyone who's never been a Roots Tech, highly, highly, highly recommend checking it out. So lots of stuff going on. And if you didn't see the uh, video I posted in the Discord earlier, a bunch of announcements about advanced uh, new tools they're putting out for Ancestry DNA. Um, and uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see those. So. Let's keep walking around. So here we have the kind of Central Park area, I guess you could call it. This is like Cousins Corner area. They got lots of games. They have lots of cool stuff going on. So they have this. Last year I did this. So you stand there and the camera spins in a circle. So I wonder if I should do this live. So let's see. Hi. So I'm on a live stream right now, nice. and uh, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I can uh, do this on the live stream. Just hook it. All we need to do is put it on this contraption right here. All right. It's already recording. It's live. It's live okay. streaming. Yeah, yeah. How many views have we got here? Well, actually, we just dropped from. Uh, Fort We're dropping people. Why are you leaving? <laughs> so now it's gonna spin around. All right. Here we go. Watch out. <laughs> there we go. You got to pose in, in the beginning and the end, right? You did it. You did a great job. Awesome. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. So one of the fun things you all can do in uh, Roots Tech. So, <laughs> so we're going to keep walking through the park here. So just to kind of get another shot of that. So you can kind of see it from another angle. So lots of fun stuff. And this is kind of the Cousin Corners area. So if you find out you have relatives at Roots Tech, this is the place where you set up to meet them. So we've got some of our other big booths. We've got the My Heritage booth over here. We've got the Family Search booth over there. We've got the Storied booth over there. Um, are there any Roots Tech alternatives in Europe? Roots Tech had a London conference. I don't know if they're going to have a London conference again. Maybe, um, but they've had they've had one in, in 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 London. There are some genealogy conferences that are in Europe. Um, IHAGS just had one in London. I was there recently. So, yeah. Uh, hello from East LA, PZ. Uh, let's see. Are, let's see. I missed a couple of questions. 
Uh, do we know when to expect those announcements? Rootstex is a big time to expect those announcements. And if you go to the Rootstex site, um, whenever they do the big announcements, they'll usually have it pretty easy to find. Um, but for those who are in my Discord, under the YouTube channel, I linked to the Ancestry DNA updates. So I think one of the updates was that it's going to be advanced shared match comparisons, which we love. We love that stuff. So let's get back to walking around. You don't have to stare at my face, my punum. And let's go over here. So one of the things with the big boosts is they go and they talk live. So so these are these are separate from everything, but we're gonna go into to my heritage. Hey, I'm on, you're on live stream right now, so say hello, everybody. Hey, if you want to introduce yourself real quick, sorry to interrupt. So. I'm Mika Collins. I'm a director of content in Europe at my heritage, celebrating all the wonderful things that we've released today and every day. We release an average of a collection a day on my heritage, and we have done for the past about a year and a half. It's exhausting, but it's wonderfully rewarding and it's wonderfully exciting. So always happy to enjoy Rootstech with so many other enthusiasts, so many wonderful people. And if you're around, come and say hello. And we'll be happy to show you all these wonderful records ourselves. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Right. We'll see you later. So we're going to just keep walking around here and check out the booth a bit. So they've got all sorts of fun stuff. They've got lots of shirts over here. And... Just tons of stuff always going on, everybody. Newsies handing out newspapers. Thank you very much. Oh, it's the old news by my heritage. Yep, yep. The new, the new, new thing. Sorry, you're so you're at this is a live stream actually right now. I don't know if you wanna be on it. Hello. Say hello. Could you tell us a little bit about old news? Yeah, so basically it's a new service that my heritage launched. Um, we archived a bunch of newspapers, obituaries. Um, so it's it's new data that we're adding. So it's all around the world too, South America, Europe, all of that. So awesome! Thank you. Yeah. Well, seize the day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, a little newsies reference for everybody there. So let's keep walking around. So ah yeah, John Tyner, you knew him, yeah. And of course, we have one of our favorite booths, the Genie booth. You're on live stream, Amanda. <laughs> so they're kind of busy right now helping with people. But for those who don't know, uh, wait, did, was it this side that had it? There we go. For those who don't know, there's a conference special offer, 50% off Genie Pro, which of course, we love Genie, don't we? We do. Collaborative family trees, amazing. So let's keep going. So Roots Tech has Lots of swag and merch that you can purchase. All sorts of stuff. So you can get, you can get utensils and mugs and all sorts of things. T-shirts and all of that. And so, <laughs> lots and lots of cool stuff going on here at Roots Tech, everybody. So, yes sir, yes sir. Hello from Florida. Rebel with a Shih Tzu. <laughs> Uh, Maven, are, are there some pets there? I have seen some people walking around with their pets. Uh, let's see, there's the, one of the story booths over there with cooking. So, now I'm not gonna, I, I, I am gonna be streaming for a long time. I'm either streaming until my phone dies or until six o'clock. So if I pass anything that you all want me to stop at, say something. Or if you have any booths that you'd really like me to check out. So. Lots of cool stuff going on. So Storied has one of the bigger, bigger booths over here. And they do lots of stuff. Right now we're heading over. See if we can catch some people. So over here, this is is one of our favorite booths this is where one of the, or the this is the organization i'm on the board of directors so i guess say hello steve you're on live hello steve you're on live he said it exactly what i asked him to i can't i can't complain <laughs> so this is uh the amazing crew over here at IHAGS. there's marlis humphreys and susan they're hanging out here you guys are on live stream we're getting video 
<laughs> yeah, you're getting video bombed. Yeah, well, actually, now you're on TV. You're you're on my show. Say hello. You got you've got people all around the world looking at you right now. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, do you want, tell the tell the people about IHAGS and the conference coming up? Oh my goodness! Um, you should actually talk to Bill because he's the conference chair. Yeah, I don't know. I might I might scare him off. Let's see if. <laughs> so he will tell you exactly a hundred and how many speakers? One seventy five. One hundred and seventy five speakers. We are going to be there and we'll be there in numbers and I hope you show up there and I hope you have the experience I have. When I first woke up to the fact that figuring out who my ancestors are is not only doable, it's really amazingly rewarding and fun. I started looking and nobody knew anything in my family and I said, well, where are the experts congregating? I'm going to go find out from them. So I went to the conference at you, which was 2009 in Philadelphia that year. And within a year of having talked to all these experts and sat in on these presentations and hearing all these trips and ticks, I've got tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. Thank you. I was able to find some research within a year from knowing nothing. Nobody knew nothing. Nobody ever told anybody anything. And off we went. So I hope you show up at the conference this year and we'll be there to help you find your yeah, you population. Wherever they may be and the, the interaction with other people is a really a wonderful aspect of it. It's it's not just learning by listening, it's the interaction. And realizing that other people have had similar experiences, challenges and often found their way through them so they can be helpful in that way. And and if you come this year we're gonna have some special programming that Jared's a part of it on some of the latest sea change things things happening in Jewish genealogy and genealogy in general, including artificial intelligence, which is going to make finding your ancestors that much easier. And Jared's going to also possibly be talking about some of the advances in DNA, genetic yep. genealogy. When you put the records and the genetic genealogy together and the magic happens, and Jared's at the center of all of this, so he will be there, right? I will, so I will be... Uh, well, actually, I don't... I don't know Absolutely. what kind of, what I can say yet, so I, I better not say anything. Okay. <laughs> but let's just say Tune there's some cool later. stuff so go. going on at this yeah. conference. Yeah. So be sure to come up to Philadelphia. Obviously, you can meet me, but then you get all of the amazing stuff that Marlis just mentioned, and it's going to be a wonderful time. So for those who are a little jealous of what's going on here at Roots Tech, IHAGS is kind of like the Jewish version of that. A little bit smaller, but amazingly fun. So be sure to be sure to come. Yes. Yes. So, okay. Flip the camera around. Back to you. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. So, there's the IJGS booth. I know Fred. Just a quick view. He's the committee chair. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So let's keep walking around. Get a view of some of the booths over here. So back here, this is also where they've got a lot of the food stuff, things like that. So, we're kind of heading a little bit back towards the media center. So we've got. This is my family archive. Hello. Hello, how are you? You're on a live stream right now. Yes. Well, nice to meet you, everyone. I am not the founder, but that is Dan, our founder, right there. Hi, Dan. Hi. So, actually, right now. So, uh, yeah, what you all do, that'd be wonderful. Oh, so, great. We're, we've got a product here called My Family Archive, and the objective is to be able to have a place to put all of your family memories, not just ancestors, but Family Search, Ancestry, great products, but they don't want your home movies, they don't want the kids' piano recitals, no. and they don't want all the things of your current family, your best vacation, the dog you grew up with, and all that kind of stuff. That's where we kind of pick up where they leave off. So we allow you to archive all that stuff and have a collection. You still use a family tree, but when you click on someone in the family tree, I'll show you here if I can real fast. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, for example, this is my wife and myself in our collection. If I click here, this is, usually you have just a person's collection individually, like you would, as you can imagine. We uniquely have a button between two parents uh, and their family to represent the family collection. So if I click on that, it takes me to a page representing the family. 
And then when we get to that page, uh, I have it. It's like the index of a book. Uh, you can add whatever chapters you want to describe the family. Here we have our wedding. My wife and I had pictures together, best over the years, the dog that we loved, homes where we raised the kids, our best family vacation, home movies from the 90s, all through over 200 things archived for the family so that the next generation, kids will always have those special memories. And when you do it, I'll show you real quickly here, if it's for my dog, I click on that, and there, now you see for each person, the unique thing is we don't store these photos. It's stored in a place like Forever or Google Photos or something, but we link it to our collection. So we're a hub. So if I click on this, I'm taken to Google Photos, uh, opens up a new tab, and there's our beloved dog, Sparky, in Google. So we're a hub where you take all your media, wherever it's stored, and you bring it all into a family tree. So that's what we do. Very cool. Thank you very much for letting us know. I'm getting a lot of people saying very cool, very interesting, and it oh, seems like they're going to well, check it out. Well, the archive, check it out. It's a it's wonderful, fun product. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping. All right, we're going to keep walking around here, everybody. So now we've got the Family Search Center over here. Now, the Family Search is, in a sense, hosting this. Um, technically, this is hosted by the Church of Latter-day Saints of... Or, wait, I, I, the LDS Church is a good way to say it. So, lots of stuff. And they have a lot of places to be able to help people and scan, digital book scanning, and computers everywhere. So, walking around. Okay, so we've kind of made a little bit of a circle, but we still have a lot of stuff to check out. The Irish News Archive is useful, but expensive. I'll keep my eye out for it. Maybe we'll stop and talk to them. So, then we have NYGB, which a very good friend of ours, Michael Waz, is doing a project with them. So they have a wonderful booth, and we'll get some of these side booths. Ah, Keepsake DNA, a company I've talked about many times. So Keepsake DNA testing company, so artifact testing being items like envelopes, brushes, toothbrushes, anything that might have DNA. So if you have something like that, this is one of those companies that actually does that type of work. So it looks like they're a little busy talking to people. I believe they're actually working through Intermountain Forensics. So if we get a second, we'll talk to them. Um, but this is this is definitely an interesting thing. Oh, look, we've got Connie Knox jumping in the live stream. I was gonna photobomb you. <laughs> <laughs> so close when I had it the other way, yeah. So. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. So we might have to come back around, but we definitely want to talk to Keepsake and get them to talk about things a bit more so just kind of show the table a little bit so we'll come we'll come back around everybody so let's get some of these side areas so you can see what is available here at roots tech so and there we go again banyan DNA. All right, now let's get into uh, another part of the conference. Excuse me. So, I'm glad to see lots of people here. Yeah, I just saw I saw the message that uh, apparently this is showing up in the short shelf instead of with regular videos. So, for those who weren't here earlier, I was trying to get I have a DJI Pocket that has a gimbal and everything, but terrible user experience did not connect so now we're on the cell phone instead walking around all shaky relative raised bag so the park again now we've only explored a portion just a portion and there we go riding on through So, oh, Amanda is available. So, we're going back to Jeannie. Amanda, 
you want to be on live stream and talk about Genie to all of my major fans of Genie already? Sure. <laughs> so you got tons of people watching you right now. So say hello. This is Amanda. Hello. Wonderful, wonderful employee at Genie who I've known for years and years now. So, uh, yeah, do you want to just tell everyone about Genie? I think a lot of them know already. But sure, but uh, Genie is a cloud family tree website. Uh, we are working to build the single shared family tree of the entire world. And we are nearly at 187 million people in our world family tree. So wonderful, yeah. And then in back there talking to some customers, we got Mike Stangle, who... What's his official title? He's our general manager. General manager. So for those who don't know, Genie is actually a MyHeritage company. So hence, you see they're right next to MyHeritage. I don't know if that was on purpose, but... Definitely on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we always have to stop by, say hello to the Genie booth. We got one of the other curators over there, Benjamin... Benjamin Schoenbrunn, or I guess he prefers Ben. Yeah, Ben. Yeah. So, but he's uh, one of the Jewish genealogists, curators, uh, and he is quite an amazing person. If you've ever been to the conference and been on Genie, or been to the Genie booth, you've probably met him. So, thank you very much, Amanda. Everybody say thank you. Give a thumbs up for Amanda. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So, we've got lots and lots of stuff going on. Now we're gonna get into some other parts. So, all right, perfect, GRIP, Genealogical Research Institute of Pittsburgh, somewhere that I've been many, many times. So, see they have lots of cool stuff going on. So they have a lot of amazing classes and things like that. This is some NGS stuff. So, oh, society, hello. Yes. You all are on live stream if you don't mind. You got tons of people watching it. So, but so yeah. If you, do you want to tell us a little bit about NGS? Um, well, we have been around since 1903, and our membership starts at eighty-five dollars for an individual one-year membership, and that comes with online access to our magazine and quarterly journals. Very cool. Thank you very much. So. Lots of cool stuff to check out, everybody. So if you're not familiar with NGS, be sure to check them out. And of course, Genealogical Research Institute of Pittsburgh. Lots of classes went up online recently, probably a lot filled, especially the AI course, but very worthwhile to check out. Thank you. So, all right, we've got some other companies going on over here. So, oh, wonderful. Genie was the first company you started with. All right. So we kind of got into a back area, but we'll go this way. So this year they had pickleball courts. So for all of you pickleball fans, they had it so you could go and play. So very cool. And beyond the pickleball, they also had a basketball court this year. So, now over here, this is something that I am very happy to have found out about related faces. So I know a lot of you are familiar with me working on those facial recognition projects with Scott Genzer for the Jewish genealogy stuff. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. So was able to speak to them. I just found out about them uh, today. Uh, lots of stuff. So if you are here, you can go and check them out. Um, I think, oh, they're about to give their last one. So, but we'll see if we can get talking to them in a second to get more information for you all. But basically what this is, is this is a facial recognition database. <laughs> so we may come back around. Lots of, these booths are very busy. You can see there's tons of people, lots of interest in all of this stuff. And so it's just very cool. So. See if I can sneak in, kind of get a little image of that. So, so we'll we'll come back and try to chat them up. But I was talking to them earlier, and very very amazing. Um, very much looking forward to seeing what um, capabilities this will have because I think that facial recognition databases are going to be the next big thing in genealogy, which is really AI. It's artificial intelligence, but a lot of people don't talk about it when we talk AI because the main thing people talk about is the generative AI. 
So we got another one of the ones that's common over here. They sell games and all that. They're here every year. And then, so we, we saw the, the Japanese booth before, so there's also a company for Chinese. They have lots of cool stuff. Hello, I, I have a live stream going. Yeah, so if you want to explain uh, this to, to everybody, that'd be wonderful. Hi, welcome to Rustaik. I'm Yali from China. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So. Uh, what, what's uh, the website? What is Chinese genealogy? And... Yeah, we're doing Chinese genealogy. We provide platform for overseas Chinese and mainland Chinese. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, we help people who find their ancestors and doing family history. Very cool, very cool. And I love that you have all of this amazing yeah. stuff. This, and... this amazing stuff is a, because of the dragon of the year of the dragon. The so year of the brain dragon. Can, and the brain can see the back. Oh, very cool. That is so cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Everyone be sure to check out the website. I know I have questions about Chinese genealogy all the time. Oh, we I, I can wait. We have to also do some genealogy with lawyer genealogy in the 3D style. Ah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we do some lawyer genealogy in the 3D style. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. Okay, this video here. So, oh, and look at... Crystal, crystal trees. And here's the old Salem trees. So cool, and so the... It's really Jewish. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. Very cool, very cool. So yeah. everyone be sure to check this out. And we, we talk about uh, DNA tests from from Asia. So uh, like 23 Ma Fong, oh, yeah. Weijin, and things like yeah, that. You, so you, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so yeah, so... So we are specialized in the genealogy. Yeah, it's different about the genes. Yeah, and even though we do some type tests for the plants, yeah, because we, we provide a service for the plants, different plants. So cool, so cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have fun. All right, so we got more and more stuff to check out. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, a little bit. A little, little. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> All I know is je m'appelle Jeret, je pite in North Carolina. <laughs> oh, je m'appelle Francis et je suis français. Wonderful to meet you. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. So, Federation. How do you say? Pardon? La France? The. the Oui. Genealogy. Uh, oh, baby, oh, no, c'est la, la France. Wonderful. La France. So, so this is, I'm doing a live stream. This is, I have lots of people watching live, so. Merci. Everyone, I know I have a lot of people with French, French ancestry. Be sure to check it out. So there we go. Wonderful. For you. Merci. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. And then DAR, of course. So, someone who we've talked about in many videos, so I'm doing a live stream, hope you all don't mind. So uh, I did a video not too long ago talking about DAR because I traced a YouTuber with revolutionary ancestors, but I don't know if everyone still knows what DAR is, so could you kind of tell us a bit about it? And... We stand for the Daughters of the American Revolution, and our objectives are historic preservation, education, and education. Wonderful, thank you, thank you. So. For those who don't remember the Mr. Beat episode where we traced his family to having connections to the Middlebrook encampment and they had DAR submissions that we used for looking in the genealogy and we also saw the notations of this genealogy was proven wrong. So we know that sometimes it's proven wrong. So, But thank you all very, very much. Bye. All right, let's keep going. We've got civilwarrecords.com. And then we also have the Mayflower Society for descendants of the Mayflower. We have some interesting stuff over here. And we have the AP Gen booth. We saw a lot of AP Gen people, including John earlier. So you're on live stream, actually. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. So stopping at the booths, doing a live stream from the expo hall today. So we've already we've already spoken to a few few folks of AP Gen, but now we're not just running into you, we're actually at your booth. So, yeah, so everybody welcome. And of course, for AP Gen, if you're looking to become a professional genealogist, 
amazing, amazing group. It was the place where when I first became a genealogist, I got a lot of clients and really was able to expand my business. So I know that there are a few of you out there who want to become professionals. I get that question all the time. So you can learn all about that with AP Gen. And of course, we've John again. Hi there. Hello. Who it? Who it? Excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Good, good. So we're going to keep going around. Thank you, Okay. Bye. 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 All right. Lots of lots of stuff to check out. Hello. Hello. How are you? So I'm doing a live stream, checking out all the different booths. Oh, awesome. So yeah, if you want to talk about what you all offer and yeah, so yeah. I'm here with the National Park Service, Homestead National Historical Park in Beatrice, Nebraska. Also, we have um, our historian, uh, who used to be our historian at Homestead, he's now at Golden Spike. Um, and we're here because um, the Homestead Act of 1862 is an opportunity to earn 160 acres of land. It lasted 123 years, so as many as one in three Americans are descended from a homesteader. So we're with our colleagues at the Bureau of Land Management, finding out if people are homesteaders, and if they are, um, 10 of the 30 homesteading states, we can find additional documentation uh, before 1908. So we have been doing that, and this is the same research experience people can have at our park uh, in Beatrice, Nebraska. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much thank for you. all that information, everyone. Be sure to go check them out. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's keep going. All right, so. so. All right. So we've got some more stuff hidden over here. And you can see how there's such a wide variety of things to check out. Oh, and of course, we come back to our favorite table, the IJGS table. And here's my cousin many times, Steve Jaron, president of the Jewish Genealogical Society of Pittsburgh. So say hello. Hello. I already said hello. But I'll yeah, you did. Well, no, last time you said hello, I'm Steve. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, you're on live stream. You got people all over the world looking at you right now. <laughs> so we have a program coming up this Sunday about finding your maiden names. Um, so if you're interested in finding your maiden names, the Jewish Genealogy Society of Pittsburgh is having a program. You can go to the Heinz History Center website um, to find, or the Jewish Genealogy Society of Pittsburgh website to find event information. And we're, registration is open until the program starts at 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Awesome. And awesome. That's all I got right now. There you go. And you can, yeah, you got lots of stuff to check out. So, oh, turning the camera on. So be sure to be sure to check that out. And for those who don't know, if you've ever seen my Jewish genealogy talk about overcoming endogamy, Steve is the cousin I mentioned of how we're related so many ways as proof of endogamy. So let's keep walking around, everybody. Bye. <laughs> okay, we still have a lot to hit. A lot to hit. So I think I've gone down that way. I'm not sure. We've got another booth that we saw already. All right. So we've got some other booths down this way. Uh, no, they're not all related in a fifth cousin distance. It's probably more like they're all related as like 10th or 12th cousins, maybe. So another wonderful company. We have Legacy Tree Genealogists. I'm doing a live stream. You're on live right I've now. Your wonderful, wonderful. Now you get to say that you've been on it. Hello. So hello, hello everybody. So yeah, tell us all about Legacy Tree Genealogists. Yeah, this is Legacy Tree Genealogists for a professional research firm. So we have not only teams of in-house researchers, DNA researchers as well, but we also have a great on-site global network of researchers as well. So we have uh, yeah, 20 years of experience and uh, yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So be sure to check them out if you're looking to hire genealogists 
I've done, I know I've talked about how to hire genealogists and reasons why you may want to hire genealogists. This is a very great company. Lots of amazing genealogists here. Can't so agree more. There you go. There you go. So wonderful. Have a wonderful Thank rest of your you. week. Second, be sure to check out the live so you can I see will. yourself. I'm over there. Thanks, All right. guys. See ya. So then we've got the Italia for Italy Records. Hello, how are you? I'm doing a live stream if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, yo hablo un yo hablo un poquito español. Yeah. Un poquito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um Italia Sí, eh uh, el proyecto da Italia, do Ministerio do Exterior, per fazer ir na Itália, descendente de italiano, porque a Itália tem italianos em todo o mundo. A Itália é uma mãe que perdeu filhos. A Rita, você quer que ele volta para fazer turismo na Itália, conhecer a terra do antepassado, porque isso não é um turismo normal, é um turismo d'alma. Porque quem volta para a Itália vai descobrir a casa onde nasceu o antepassado. Pode ouvir a, é, como habla o povo aí. É uma experiência única. Depois, é, desculpa se faço mistura italiano, português, mas é importante. A gente vai aprender como fazer a pasta, o pão, fazer tudo isso. E eu acho que na vida, uma vez, a pessoa tem que fazer essa experiência. Wonderful. Gracias, gracias. Minha família é de uh, Livorno. Uh, Livorno, Leghorn? Livorno. Para inglês? Para inglês, ok. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm doing a live stream right now. Oh, good. So we... I like <laughs> so, yeah, so as I got the Spanish about what's going on, so if you could tell us a bit in English. Okay, um, we are here. Do you know the new project of the Italian government? It's Italia. It's just for uh, the Italian dictionaries around the world. Uh, our purpose is to take them to visit and discover uh, the origin of uh, their family, ancestors, the life where they was born, they were born, uh, living, and everything else to, the, uh, to know about the Italy. Thank you. So my my family came from Livorno. Wow. In Tuscany. Yes, Tuscany. Yeah. Good yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely going to check this out. Everyone be sure to, to look into this very, very interesting project. So thank you very much. Thank you too. Bye. Bye. Okay, keep walking around. So we've got the Brigham Young University booth over here with lots of BYU stuff going on. Now over here we've got the basketball court. And now we're going to start getting a little bit outside of the expo hall, just kind of checking some stuff out. So I'm going to put it back on my pretty face. So, si, sí, espanol. Yo hablo un poquito. Esta está mi premier. Primero lingua? <laughs> so, okay. Actually, before we leave, this is one of the booths I definitely want to come and talk to. Related faces. This is about facial recognition. We have the folks who started it over here, but we're going to ask them once they free up a bit. But very interesting because this is very similar to the projects I've done with Scott Genzer. Uh, or the project I'm working on with Scott Genzer and what Scott Genzer has done for genealogy. Uh, Primero, uh, does Roots Magic have a booth? Yes, I have not gone there. I will go there next. So, this is a cool, cool site. So, and for those who aren't familiar with facial recognition, if you watch my video, The Future of Genealogy, I go in depth about that about how it works in terms of they create the bounding box and use all the different points and having to train the model so that it can recognize the certain points on the face. So this is great to see a commercial version beyond just singular projects. So 
We actually have someone available now who can talk about this. If you're actually on live stream. Hello to everybody. So yeah, if you could tell us about Related Faces. Yeah, so we're Related Faces. We're a family uh, founded company. My mother is our CEO. Our fa my father is behind me and my wonderful husband is over there. Um, and we had a problem. My mother inherited over 5,000 photographs. Not, well, a very limited amount of which were labeled, and a lot of the labels were every generation coming back with a new pen, crossing out a name, and writing a new one, which sparked us to be sitting over the kitchen table with a magnifying glass, arguing. And at some point or, my mother, or, or another, my mother turned to myself and my father and was like, you guys work in technology, do better for dead people? And we said, yeah, yeah, we can. There's all these great new facial recognition services, and we can optimize this for genealogists. So we've been um, working on this project for about the last five years, and we've come to market in the last year and a half, and we really think this is an excellent tool for genealogists. It's made by a genealogist for genealogists, and we are continuing to learn and grow. So uh, please check us out, uh, relatedfaces.com. And um, any questions or concerns you have, hit that contact us button and you're going to be reaching a member of our family. And we are so, so happy to help us. Bye, awesome. Everybody. Thank you so yeah. much. I'm very excited for this. I, I was talking to your dad yeah, earlier. I don't yeah. know if you heard. Yeah, and a little bit, but I was <laughs> yeah, so, so busy. Yeah, you guys have been, rightfully so. And I've, yes. I've been saying for a while, Facial recognition is the new big thing that no one's talking about. And so we're I was surprised the to see you. Yeah. yeah. No, we're, we're really, really thrilled. You know, some of the other players are dabbling in this. Um, my heritage in particular does that thing with the, like, how much you look like your ancestors. Yeah. And that's awesome, but that doesn't give you a genealogical tool. Right? It's just I'm comparing gonna... one face to another. Exactly. I'm comparing every face in my database against every other face in my database, which, by the way, includes the Library of Congress. And so what I can do then is I can choose every result above 60%, which means you are getting pages and pages of results that can tell you things. Not just is this the same person, but hey, here's this uh, set of uh, results at around the 80% mark. Those are all sisters that were matching at an 80%. I might be in this frame of my family, right? I might have some information here, and then I can put on my genealogical sleuth hat, and I can go searching down that line of the family because now I have a lead. Even if it's not an exact result, I have a lead. And so a tool like this that's meant to be more broad, meant to be more, more genealogical like that, is going to give you power and results that some of these other things just aren't at this point. They're not aimed at that. Awesome, yeah. yeah. I'm, you are super popular right now. <laughs> I just saw my views kind of jump up oh, another 10, 20 Larry. people. Yes. So I got to speak to her dad earlier. Yes. So say, say hello, you're on live stream. I know I warned you before. And yes. I, I see with the computer there, I'm kind of taking right. it. So that's yes. how they're cutting them down. And like I said, everyone, if you want to learn more about the facial recognition, just the basis of it, my video, The Future of Genealogy, talk about the bounding box, the points, and how the system works and yeah. it's all based similarly you use AWS recognition yes, correct? yes the AWS recognition which is constantly being updated um, currently it's using about 182 points around the face which is the most of any commercially available solution so we are getting the best facial recognition results publicly available so that is uh, really really amazing for you and your results but that also means that if you are missing points on that face because there's so many other ones we can still give you excellent results one of the common questions we get is around facial hair. You know, um, I've got this dude with this lumberjack beard, kind of looks like my Uncle Joe, but you know, <laughs> it's that he, I never saw him with a beard a day in his life. Well, because we can use that mask area of his face, that upper area, and the eyes are so many of these data points, right? And we can still get you an excellent result even without using the data in that area. And so it's a really, really excellent tool. And um, you know, even faces like that, as you saw in the poster earlier, right? Those are not the clearest images. Those are not the cleanest pictures, but we can actually get a 99% match between those two men. And that's actually the picture that kicked the whole thing off. Every Everybody kept saying that the man in the right-hand photo there was not my three times great-grandfather and uh, my mother was convinced and so she had us run facial recognition on it and uh, yeah 99.99 percent that kind of put the nail in things and the rest of the family had to quit arguing with her. Awesome. Thank you so <laughs> yeah, much. Pleasure to see you. Have a wonderful rest of the time. Goodbye Thank you, everybody. You too. And, uh, 
if you have any questions or concerns, relatedfaces.com, please feel free to contact us. Awesome, thank you. Bye -bye. Have fun at the conference. Yes, you too. All right. So now we're going to head on over to Roots Magic. I saw that we had a couple of questions for them, I think, about DNA. Oh, I don't understand a single word, but it sounds wonderful. So, okay. Um, okay, let's see if I can find this Roots Magic question you had. Um, is there, I think, over here somewhere. Okay, Lightning Fan, you, you asked about the DNA tools. So we'll go find Roots Magic. We've got Genealogy Bank over here, which we'll come back to in just a second. So here we go. Lightning Fan, this is what you wanted, was the Roots Magic booth. So we'll see if we can ask them a question in a second. So we've got Roots Magic. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm doing a live stream. Would you like to talk about Roots Magic? Not particularly? Okay. Okay, no worries, no worries. So, um, yeah, the, the only question they had, we have someone asking about uh, possible DNA tools coming up. Don't know. Okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. So we'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. If you see me walking around with the phone still, drag me down. So, thank you very much. All right, so we'll have to wait to get that answer. Uh, do they have a Native American booth? You know, I don't know. I hadn't seen one so far, but we'll have to see. Um, take a look. Take a look around. We're going to head back to the media booth for now. We're actually, you know what we haven't hit? We haven't hit Jed Match. Let's hit Jed Match. So we've got Melio photos over here. We're back at Central Area. Um, let's see, really interested in your thoughts on the new DNA tools announced by Ancestry and MyHeritage at Roots Tech. So I need to focus, actually get a good focus more on uh, what they actually uh, have, but from what I saw with the Ancestry stuff, I am very much looking forward to it, especially with the fact that supposedly they're going to be advanced shared match comparisons. So, okay, so over here we've got the Jed Match booth wonderful wonderful company which of course they are all very busy talking we did get to talk earlier with will over there um but we'll we'll come <clears throat> we'll come back around so for those who don't know jed match uh worked with myself recently in um developing that endogamy auto cluster tool which is the newest video oh we're Yep, yep, hold on, I gotta turn the camera around. There we go. I was just talking about the auto cluster endogamy tool. Oh, so the new release. Yeah, yeah, the new release. So so wonderful. I know Tom's not here, he's busy talking and <laughs> yeah, and so I see the lead developer isn't really <laughs> available. Yeah, no 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 over there, over there, over there, that guy. That guy. So but yeah, no, so you got you got on the stream so many times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey, so we'll have to come back. So let's head on over to the media center. Um, <laughs> facial recognition was very interesting. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, facial recognition is going to be the next big thing. So right now, AI, generative AI is the big thing, but facial recognition is another version of AI that people aren't talking about as much. And I know I've talked about it a bit over the years. As I keep saying, those projects with Scott Genzer, but seeing that there are other companies, other projects going on out there, makes it so much, so much better knowing that things are advancing. So, okay, I don't know if I hit any of these booths before. So, let's turn this around. We'll kind of get some of this stuff. So we got the media center over here. We've got BCG, Board for Certification for Genealogists. And we have one here. Hello. Say hello, you're on live stream right now. Oh my gosh, hi everyone, so, how are you doing? Yeah, if you want to ta tell, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. About myself? Well, I just went to the Italian booth. They have these amazing books to help you plan your trip to your ancestral home, although I've already done that. But nevertheless, um, there's some great opportunities there. And we should introduce Henry the Sleuth, don't you think? <laughs> Henry 
Tommy the Sleuth is also here at Boots Tech, and he says hello. <laughs> we hope you can join us next year. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, Lynn. All right, so we're gonna head back in here. We're gonna take a little, a little bit of a breather, but we're gonna keep going with talking. So live stream is gonna keep going. So. Okay. Okay. Back at square one. So. Let's see, uh, let's check chat, because I have not checked chat in a while. Oh, hello! <laughs> What's going well? I'm still streaming right now. Well, the plan is to stream until 6 o'clock, so I've got about another hour. So, and then I go to the genie dinner. <laughs> and then my heritage friends later. Correct. I'm a, I'm a curator on genie. So, alright, let's see. Alright, let's check chat. Scrolling up a little ways. I haven't seen any of my uh, admins in here, but I see someone's been helping in uh, blocking some of these spam messages. So thank you, Charlie, Matt, or uh, Blackberry, if you're in here. So let's see. Okay. Irish News Archive is useful but expensive. Okay. The NLAI National Library of Ireland is good records too, but I haven't ordered anything. Ah, so John, you're talking about your own research. So... Uh, okay, I see Lightning, your fan. Oh, no, that's the same question you had about Roots Tech. So we'll go back there and see if they can answer that. Um, okay, yeah, maybe I'm much further ahead. So, okay, hi, hello. Trump or Biden, I'm not answering a question like that, neither. <laughs> there, I guess maybe I answered it. Uh, will your session tomorrow be on live stream? No, my session tomorrow is not going to be on live stream. Uh, the session from the day wasn't on live stream either, unfortunately. Uh, I just have the smaller rooms. I'm not quite as popular here. So. Down, down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm I'm popular, but not quite at you know. I'm not in the ballrooms. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So, um, where am I from? Well, born uh, Los Angeles, lived in Chicago, and mostly grew up in North Carolina. So, uh, one downside about being here in Salt Lake is it's so dry. Yeah, I literally was just like, as I was talking, just, ugh, got to chapstick it up. Oh. Okay. Do you have any job? Well, I just quit my job as an investigative genetic genealogist to do this full time. So well, this is my job now, <laughs> technically, along with other things, doing speaking, educational stuff. Hello, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing well. Let's see if we can put some of this stuff away. So I see we still got a lot of people on here. We're going to head out back in a second. We'll hit up DNA Painter's booth. We'll hit up, um, oh, what's the other booth? Um, oh, yeah, Roots Magic. We need to hit up Roots Magic, answer uh, Lightning Fan's question. So, yeah, hopefully the next time I try to do a live stream like this, my camera will work and I won't have to settle with a uh, phone like I am now. Um, use Vaseline instead. Okay, ChapStick has ingredients that will dry your lips out, making you use more ChapStick. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, that is a good sales technique. Um, have they told you how many square feet is the conference? I don't know. Do you know how many square feet the conference is? No? Yeah. No, I haven't seen anybody from Wifel here. I would I would have loved to go up to their uh, booth and talk to them about uh, stuff. Because um, I love Wifel. It's it's one of those Y-DNA databases that I feel like a lot of people don't really utilize, even if they test on FTDNA with the big uh, Y tests. So, so let's see. Oh, I keep getting caught there. So... Any, any other booths that people want me to go and see if they're around or check out? You can also, if you go to the Roots Tech website, they have a list of their exhibitors. So if you see anything there that I haven't covered yet, let me know. Because we've got another little bit under an hour for this stream. 
Um, yeah. Oh, FTDNA on their Y-DNA. Okay, yeah, I can go over the FTDNA booth. Um, a British Isles ancestry booth. I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. I feel like with the singular booths of different um, ancestries, it, it seems to be a bit more of the unique one sometimes. But... So, uh, why are there so many DNA companies that are just laying with crazy results? I only, well, you're talking about admixtures. Everyone's always focused on admixtures. Personally, uh, admixtures are such a small part of it that complaining about one company having a worse admixture than the other to me is like comparing cars and saying one's better because of the radio. The engine is the part that, that matters to me, and that's the DNA matches, the DNA tools, and things like that. So, you know, I kind of get where people are coming from with that thing, but personally, I mean, I harp on it a lot. Admixtures are so much less useful than everything else with the DNA test. And, yeah, it really just, it, the, the downside really just comes with the way they advertise it. That's what they push, because it's easily digestible, and that's what people want. Um, I... <laughs> What was the name of the Italian booth? Uh, I think it was Italia. Or, oh wait, no, that, that's the French one. Um, I think it was Italia, yeah, AT, yeah, thank you, John. Thank you, John. Um, I'd be interested in hearing from the Mayflower booth. Okay, yeah, I'll go back there. I'll definitely go back there. Um, let's see. What booths are we talking about? I just joined. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> The booths, the vendor booths at the exhibit hall at Roots Tech. So we're doing live stream at Roots Tech. Had this thing worked out right in the live stream I set up to do this. Uh, it would have all made much more sense. Instead, I had to go through the phone and now it looks all weird and funky and it's all vertical. Um, where am I? I'm at Roots Tech in Salt Lake City, Utah. Roots Tech Conference, the largest genealogical conference in the world. I believe there's over 20,000 people here, but I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely a much, much bigger audience than it was last year. Um, yeah. So, but what do you think is the best DNA company for the admixture, at least more accurate for what your ancestry is really like? Well, it kind of comes down to what your ancestry is. A big part of it has to do with each company has a different precision and recall on each population group. So certain population groups, some companies may have better statistical numbers um, showing how good that stuff is. So, uh, you know, with some companies it may be better than others, but in my personal opinion, I never really could decide which one's more accurate or not, you know, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it, it's kind of a weird, weird question to answer, I guess, with how I understand the, the admixtures because I know of so many of the variables while also not really caring that much about it because it's such a minimal part of it so i'm sorry i know i get this kind of question a lot and i never really you know answer it i think the way people want where they want me to say is definitively one or the other um you know i mean it varies it varies uh any portuguese representation here I don't know. I didn't, at least not booze. I'm sure there are people from Portugal here. There are people from all over the world here. So it's it's truly a, a worldwide conference, international conference. And as I mentioned before, uh, at least in the past, they've had a London Roots Tech conference. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing one again in the future. I think they will, but not 100%. So, all right. I think I've taken enough of a break. Let's get back to walking around, getting close to my 10,000 steps for the day, and it's a lot more to do. Okay. Let's get going. Ellen, hello, hello everybody. Oh, perfect. I'm, you all are on are live, live stream right now. Good to see you. So we love the Gina vlogger. Really? Yes. Hello, hello. A bunch of my exactly. favorite people. And we, we have we have something that you need to talk about. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. So now, so I am very pleased to announce, although you may have heard that Jewish Life Television, 
Jewish Gen and the Museum of Jewish Heritage have partnered to produce a new Jewish themed genealogy show called Generations. We've produced our first episode. We're looking to produce many more. And we will talk to Jared and let you know where you can see it, when you can see it. Karen Franklin was our chief genealogist. Ellen actually worked on the show as well. And this is yeah, our new friend who has a story that you really should explore. You really should explore. Mina Outreach team. Yeah, you, Middle East and North Africa. Middle East, North wow. Africa team, and I'm interviewing these folks for the blog. Wonderful, wonderful. So I guess I'm kind of interrupting with my no, live stream. Yeah. <laughs> we're done, we're done, and we're good to have you. Yeah. Also to say that there are so many more stories behind the television show that we'll be sharing with our Jewish genealogical community. And exactly. And lots of questions and lots of techniques that we can share. I want to tell you something when you're done. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll have to come back because I'm going to live streaming for the next 45 oh, minutes. Oh, good for you. Keep live streaming. So All I'll right. be back, but okay. we will talk. We will talk. We will talk. I want to tell you more about this amazing man. Wonderful. Well, of course, North Africa Records with my family in Zale, Morocco, and in Tunisia. Oh. This is where I definitely want to talk. Okay. So about Sephardic Jewish records and things yeah. like that. So, yeah. So especially my family that went from Livorno, Italy to Tunisia and were there until... You know, things happen. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, my Nunes Vaz family. <laughs> so, and I, I do have some records from Tunisia in Arabic, and yeah, so. We need to talk then. I need to interview you for the blog. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, everyone, you, uh, you, get to, you get to learn more about, and where, where can all of my viewers find out more about uh, what you're doing? FamilySearch.org forward slash M E N A. Middle East, North Africa. Middle East, North Africa. Middle East, North Africa. Wonderful. Well, thank you all. I'll see you around. All right. We're going to keep, keep walking around. So, don't appreciate me. Why not? Oi vey. Okay. Let's see. Oh, ironically, sardonically is welcome. Wonderful to have you. Uh find out about my Jewish ancestry. Yeah, the Jewish genealogy show is going to be amazing. So, uh, for anyone who's on my Discord, I did already post a link. They did release a trailer, so you can go and watch the trailer for that new TV show. <laughs> well, I'm here. You, I'm on live stream. Would you like to? <laughs> here, I'm on. I'm on live. So, hi, hi a fan. Hi. Hi there. Really so, nice to meet you. Nice person. to meet you too. Oh man, I'm so, a huge fan of your. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm glad you, you stopped and said hello. So now you get to be on the YouTube channel. So very cool. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis? Nice yes, nice to, nice to meet you. Have fun. So I have lots of fans here. It's very cool to have that happen. So I guess my YouTube channel does get out there, doesn't it? So, all right. So let's see. Oh, perfect. Perfect. This is exactly who we want to talk to. We've got Johnny Pearl over here. If we can if we can get them. So we're going to aim over here at the DNA Painter booth, but hey, Johnny, I'm doing a live stream. Would you like to talk to my YouTube? You. It's always good to see you. Yeah, we got people all around the world watching you right now. How are things? You're in my booth. How does it look? Oh, it looks wonderful. It looks wonderful. I was walking by through earlier, but you were super busy, so I didn't want to interrupt. It's been a busy day, but an enjoyable day. Yeah. yeah. How you How's your country? It's going well. It's going really well. So did a talk, and yeah, now I'm doing the live stream from the Expo really Hall. Sorry, I missed your talk, but I haven't been able to go to any talks of us. But uh, I mean, that's kind of the. The, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm going to talk tomorrow at 9.30, so that'll be fun. That's my last kind of big commitment. Wonderful. Uh, I've been obviously talking a lot here, showing people uh, the new Watto Plus tool, and also people have been able to watch videos of me droning on about other things in the past, so it's been fun. Wonderful. I'm getting a lot of people in chat saying absolutely love DNA Painter. Well, I guess one person, but still. Let's say it's it comes let's, it comes in slow. slow. So, but for those who aren't familiar with DNA Painter, can you just give a brief overview I of can it? Indeed. So, it's a website, and it's designed for anyone who is into family history who's taken a DNA test. So, you might be a beginner, you might be dipping your toe in, wondering, you know, what does a certain number of centimorgans mean, or you might be really going gangbusters to solve family mysteries and want to use some of the best uh, tools out there. I got some of them. So that's what it is. Definitely some of the best tools out there. And do, do we want to get the friend in? Do we, friend, James. So I tell you what, I, I can bring. I can bring anagrams. Yeah, James <laughs> brings anagrams to the table. Not yeah. just that, but this. 
<laughs> there you go. Wonderful. So James has come and helped out at the the booth for a couple of years now. Yeah, James has done great. He's a designer. He's designed a lot of our marketing collateral, and he's learned the product back to front. And he can he can talk for England. So the guy's a legend, really. Awesome, awesome. So. Wonderful, wonderful to have you both talk on the stream, and pleasure, always pleasure. wonderful to see you. I know we'll probably see each other tomorrow as well, so I so. uh, will see you all tomorrow. And Enjoy stuff. You guys yeah, have a good yeah, rest of the night. Take easy, man. Bye-bye. All right. So we're going to keep walking around. Kind of jumped in and interrupted their conversation there uh, with Leia Larkin, but it happens. Over there, so that actually is the one of the founders of Family Treaty Day, Bennett Greenspan. So we've got the family tree DNA booth. There's, we've got the ancestry booth. So let's see what, Lightning, are you still here? If you are, let me know. I'm gonna go see if, if we can talk to them again. See if we can get that question answered. So, and actually, let's see. Ah, lightning, you are. So we're going to head over. You can see Roots Magic in the background there. So, lots of stuff constantly, constantly going on here at the conference. Right. So it looks like we got a bunch of people still busy. So not sure if we'll get the answer question answered now, but we'll we'll see. So look at some of the merch again. So yeah, unfortunately they're kind of busy right now. Explore some of their some of the booth while we wait. See if we can chat them up. So for those unfamiliar with Roots Magic, we'll get a little bit of a explanation soon. So, all right, how do all of the bigger companies who are direct competitors get on each other there? Everyone's very friendly. I mean, there are some, you know, negative things I think from time to time, but nothing too bad, nothing too bad at all. So, okay, so, so. hello, how are you? Doing well. I hope you don't mind. I'm doing a live stream right now, and I had people asking to come here okay. and ask directly about uh, possible DNA tools, uh, if you have any plans for that in the future. Well, right now we only have uh, the ability for you to add DNA test results as a fact to the individuals. Um, other than that, I don't have the information on if there's anything coming out. Okay, wonderful. Now, for all of those on my stream who may not be familiar with Roots Magic, can you talk a bit about what you what you do, what you offer? Yeah, so this is a genealogy software program that allows you to save your genealogy on your personal computer. And then if you have information on either Ancestry or on Family Search, you can download or import though that information and then maintain both websites through just using Roots Magic. Very cool, very cool. Thank you very much. And um, got a lot of people who are already big fans of yours in my audience. So wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Fantastic. You're welcome. All right. So let's keep on walking through. Now, what were some of the other? I think someone had mentioned they wanted to do the Mayflower Society. Um, does it work with my heritage? Oh, I don't know. Let me go back and see. Oh, walking by, we've got Steve Rockwood, president of Family Search, right there. Walking with a whole big crew. So, excuse me. So, we've got to find where they are. Any French people at Roots Tech at Conference? Yeah, actually, <laughs> we literally just walked past the booth. We were here earlier, we got some information from them, but since you just asked, yes. There you go, so definitely go and check them out. So, but it looks like they uh, are not at the booth right now. So, 
All right, so we've got the Mayflower Society. Who was it that wanted me to see the Mayflower Society? Did you have any questions? You just wanted to have me find out about general stuff. So, oh, one thing, I don't know if we stopped at the Sons of the American Revolution. We stopped at DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, but this is similar, just sons instead of the daughters. So, yeah. I'm on live. You want to be on live? No, you, you don't want to talk about Roots Tech? Uh, I'll talk about Roots Tech. All right. So, everyone, we have the wonderful Rhett dabbling here. Hi, everyone. And, uh, yeah, just tell us about Roots Tech. I mean, we're doing a, a walk through the tire expo hall, talking about the amazing things here. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. So I'm Red. I'm responsible for the classes at Roots Tech, and we have about 85 a day that are happening. So through the course of the event here, there's 255 classes happening here in the Salt Palace, with another 90 or so webinars happening online, and another about 100 or so classes that are happening in other parts of the world in other languages. So we've got stuff going on in 42 languages, and I don't know how many countries. So there's a lot here for a lot of people, for everyone, really. So, yeah. Anything else you want to know? Oh, no, no. I mean, I, anyone in chat have anything? Uh, I'm not seeing any questions, so Dang. yeah, I don't know, but yeah. yeah. So the Expo Hall is the heartbeat of the conference. There's all of our wonderful vendors and sponsors here, and so much energy and excitement. We've got cultural entertainment down at uh, the end of the hall for all different areas of the world to share their heritage. So, Roots Check is a lot of fun. I look forward to it all year. Awesome. Yeah, it's. It's it's like a holiday basically. It is. It really is. Yeah. And I get to see all my friends too, like Jared. So yeah, exactly. That's a highlight. Awesome. Well thank you so yeah, much, Rhett. Kind of Bye. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we have someone to talk to here. Hi. I'm doing a live stream if you don't mind. We had some people in my chat asking me to come and ask some questions. So uh, some of them have um, uh, one of them has daughters who wants to join the Mayflower Society. So can you talk a little bit about the society and my genealogical company and we help people get So for us we had eight kids or we have eight kids so and seven of my children here so research on their ancestors my time in South Korea Iraq my whole time in Spain I can't take Look at it to make sure yeah, we'll nothing is correct. Yeah. 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 And yeah. And if it's correct, it moves they got better at it than actually my seven year old now. Since we have a very cool, there. very cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And you have a wonderful uh, conference. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, we're going to get a little bit outside the expo hall now, kind of check out some other stuff. The expo hall is starting to slow down, it closes around six. So we're gonna go do a little exploring. So, oh, why why your session won't be live streamed? That was uh, my own choice. That wasn't theirs. So, basically, when you uh, put in your your submission, you kind of get the question of do you uh, want to have that as part of it or not? So, have I been in any sessions today? The only session I've been to today is the session where I actually spoke. So that's been about it. Yep, I'm walking by again. I'm still live streaming, but this is on my face now. You, it's, you're, not, you're not seeing, but hey. I joined the live stream for a second. I saw you comment in there. I saw the emojis, so. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so we'll we'll keep going on. So let's see. We've got. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna keep going. So never been to Roots Tech. It's it's an amazing experience. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm going just through the Expo oh, Hall right way. now. So very very basic overview right now. Although, as Rep mentioned. This is the heartbeat of the conference. Lots of stuff going on. Companies to find out about. And oh yeah, keepsake DNA. But they they are busy. They are busy. So we'll we'll come and talk to them maybe in a bit. Unless I can steal somebody. So but we've got keepsake DNA. So DNA testing artifacts, envelopes and other artifacts. 
All right. So I don't know if we'll be able to talk to them. They got too much going on. <laughs> They're probably one of the super popular ones anyway. So. Keep going, keep going. So we're heading back to the media booth. But I'm just getting my backpack and stuff. So. So we're back. We're back. So going to sit down. Okay. Need to need to adjust my socks a bit. Got him. Digging into my leg a bit. Wow. Hopefully that hopefully that makes a difference a little bit. So so I'm gonna just get my stuff and we're gonna get walking around to other parts too. So I'm actually it's probably best that I don't put my jacket on. How are your energy levels? I mean, I'm doing pretty good right now, but I got terrible sleep last night. Terrible sleep. Fortunately, my hotel, while the staff is amazing, I am not really happy with the hotel. <laughs> shout out, Emma. Okay, there you go. Oh my God, shout out, please. <laughs> Oh, no, you're fine. I'm still streaming, too. I'm private Oh, yeah, you definitely don't want to... You definitely don't want to be on that, no. So, we've got one of our UK representatives right here. Christy. So. All right. All right, bye. All right, so let's see. I was at a wedding last night. I'm still feeling it a bit. That wouldn't end well, yeah. Uh, do you think Ancestry 23 Me will get more detailed results on India or China? Considering the size of the population, they don't have many categories. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, from my understanding, you know, they're always trying to get more studies done. Now, I, I don't know exactly what they're all doing, but, you know, one of the benefits of, or not one of the benefits, but one of the things that they probably all push for is to be as unique as possible versus the other databases. So I imagine so. I mean, my understanding is there's constantly more testing being done. Um, is 23andMe there? You know, I don't think so. I don't know if I've seen a 23andMe booth. I'll keep a look around and see. Um, yeah, I don't know. You don't know, say. You breathe too heavy? Well, I'm walking around. I'm <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I kind of don't want to die, you know? Kind of need to breathe. So, I mean, I'm also sweating too. You can point that out if you want. The fun of YouTube comments, huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, any African American resources? Yes. Yes, there are. Um, and in fact, we're going to go over to American Ancestors. Hey, you want to be on live stream? Hey, why not? All right, we've got another wonderful Hello. Roots Tech person here. We've got Aaron, who's a part of the media group, I guess, or the, I don't know, yes. what would you call it? Yeah. So this is the media hub where all of the media people or influencers or those that have a following that want to hear about genealogy news gather. Okay. And I work for Roots Tech, I do all the marketing. So if you need anything marketing-wise, yeah. let me know. And she's the, re she's the reason why I'm getting all of this access <laughs> stuff. So, But this is part of it. This is what yes. you all want, is That's the live stream. So I'm hitting an hour and 40 minutes. So wow. we've walked around the whole expo hall. Now we're going to walk well, around a little enjoy. bit more. There's one more day. So make sure that you come and check out what we have tomorrow, too. Awesome. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, so you want to see the African American resources. So we're going to go over to American Ancestors and we'll go talk to them about that. Daniel, have a great night. I know it's super late there in the UK. Thank you so much for tuning in. So 
So Henry, you were asking about African American resources, and right now there's the 10 Million Names Project by American Ancestors, which hopefully we can uh, talk to them a bit in a second about that. A little bit busy right now. Their booth is always very busy. So we'll see if we can get somebody. But yes, there are African American uh, stuff. Uh, what are you doing? I'm walking around Roots Tech. Uh, where do they do all the presentations? So I'm gonna walk and show you all in a second. So, hello, I hope you don't mind. I'm doing a live stream. And I had a lot of people asking me directly about African American resources. And so I know about the 10 Million Names Project. I wanna come over and see if you could talk a bit about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, I know it's a little bit of flabbergasting to just have a camera pointed in your yeah. face, so. Okay, so, I'm sorry, what was your question? Oh, uh, just if you could talk about the 10 Million Names oh, Project. yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, we are interested in recovering and restoring the names of the estimated 10 million who were enslaved, and so we are doing that by collecting resources and data. Um, we are also partnering with organizations who might have that information but not have a way to um, digitize or get that out. And then we are asking for help from the public. So individuals who may have had ancestors who were enslavers and they have information documents that show enslaved on them, we are asking for donations. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I had I have a, a few people in chat who are really wondering about African American research and projects going on. And I know this is one of the amazing projects NEHGS is doing. And yes, yeah, yes, it's yes. it's great to see. And so at the end, I forgot to mention that um, we will compile that information and we will make it searchable for free on our website. Awesome. So it's you don't even have to have a, a, a membership for the American Ancestors database. You do not. Absolutely free. For the 10 million names, you do not need to have yeah. a membership. And this could be potentially the breakthrough for a lot of families because they just can't get back because of that 1870 wall. Exactly. Exactly. So, so we want to try to be a hub for that information to help people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I know I see a bunch of people in chat. Uh, we got cool. What is the 10 million name project? Well, you just got the answer. Um, so yeah, there we go. So definitely be sure to check that out. And as mentioned, you don't have to have an American Ancestors membership to be able to access it all completely free. So yes. definitely check it out. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep on walking around. So now we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get into the area where they're doing classes. Uh, I also have Sephardic Nunez, ancestor from Portugal who escaped the Inquisition and went to Savannah, Georgia. Uh, I think, are you talking about Samuel Enriquez, uh, Samuel Nunes Enriquez, who founded uh, Mikve Israel? Because actually I have been to Mikve Israel, I know about the story and all of that. So, oh, Wiki Tree Booth, John, just for you, another hello from the Wiki Tree Booth. So, there we go. All right. So now we're going to get into where the classes are. So, this is just the Expo Hall, everybody. So even Canon has their own booth here. So. It's kind of a big view. So now the classes are out here. So down this way, we have all the big ballrooms. So you can really get a sense of how massive this is. So just walking through, they sell all sorts of food and everything. So over here, these are the main stages up front to the right, but to the left, we have the ballroom. So you can see here, we've got ballroom B. You can see what they have. So this is just ballroom B. And then we've got our newsy buddy over here again. <laughs> Good to see you too. So. Lots of stuff. So we're not going to go into the main stage area. Or, oh, maybe it is open so I can kind of just show a peek. Uh, oh, no, it's closed. So instead, we're going to go upstairs. So as we go upstairs, let's get a shot like that. All right. Definitely don't want to fall down an escalator. 
And funny enough, after someone, Kaya asked me, please trip over and make it look like an accident. Uh, I think I'm good on that. Okay. So, so this is the upstairs area. And you can see the expo hall from up here. And so this is where they have a lot of classes and stuff as well. Oh, almost dropped my phone. You can really see, and we still have barely even covered this, so take a look over here. So this is kind of the front entrance area. We also have down here, we'll go down and check this out. We have Ancestry has this special area, which I know we had people asking about the pets. And by the way, for those who are worrying about me breathing heavy, yeah, I'm walking around. <laughs> I'm walking around nonstop all day. So what can I say? What can I say? All right, so we've got see some more of the classes over this way. We've got all this stuff. Well-known genealogist Tom Reed over here. So we're heading back downstairs for now. But we'll do more stuff. So basically right now it's kind of nearing the end of the day. Everyone's kind of heading on out, doing all their different stuff. Um, last classes are over. Expo Hall closes at 6 o'clock. So another another place to buy merchandise so that's where we just left the expo hall so now we'll go on over here show you guys the ancestry thing so do they have any food places in there yeah it's like um, food like uh mall or not even i don't even know what to describe it as just conference food you know really expensive not that good so but here we've got, I guess this is uh, Ancestry stuff where you could buy things and all of that. They also have a little advertisement over here for their pet DNA stuff. <laughs> You're going to get sleep better tonight, take some Advil before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, well I know there are some people who've been taking melatonin just to make sure. So it's like, by the end of the day you're so tired but then at the same time, you get back to the room, you're just so pumped up from everything. At least that's how I am. So, I'll let you guys look at my pretty put them again. So, it's kind of funny. I know this stream has been going well because I've had more trolls come into this stream than any other. And uh, one thing I've learned with YouTube is that the more trolls and people you have hating on you, the better things are in a sense, just because it means you're reaching such a wide audience. At least that's the way I look at it, kind of half glass full sort of thing. So, love your Yiddishisms, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're, we're heading to another part. So we've got the expo hall there. Here's another one of those uh, stores here. I don't... Sorry, I'm doing a live stream just showing everybody okay. the merchandise Great. that you all have. So, yeah, lots of lots of cool stuff. And then they've got all sorts of information over here. So when you come to Roots Tech, if you need help, it is easy to get help. We're, so that's our job. Yeah, yeah. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, how can I help? You see, they all they all have shirts. Go. How can I help? Yep. So very cool, very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there's, there's one of the food places for those that were asking about it. So we've got more of the classrooms over here. And remember, these are just some of it. This is one portion. So here's the main map. <clears throat> so you all can see, so there's the expo hall. There's the main stage, which we weren't able to go into, the ballrooms. And then this is where we're walking along. But there's all of this other area. So lots of classes, lots of stuff going on. And here's the full view of the Expo Hall map. There you go. All right. So. Hey, 
Can a person exit those doors out there to head north? I honestly don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> so, so we've got lots of rooms, lots of rooms. <clears throat> so now we're going to go up this way, check out some of the rooms over this way. So. It's nice to be on an escalator. So actually one of the funny things, so you were asking about food. A whole like little grocery store thing in here. So here's see all those classrooms. So you can kind of get an idea of how big some of these classrooms are. So like here, this was this classroom. So we've got another help desk. Lots and lots of helpful, helpful people. And then over here, we're gonna sneak in this way. Hopefully I'm not gonna be too loud with my lights. This is the speaker's lounge ready room. This is kind of where there's come to get to uh, hang out, sort of. In that case, so, something nice for all of us speakers to relax and such. So we have all sorts of stuff <laughs> if we need it. <laughs> very, very helpful. And um, nobody's in here now, but place for our coats and just make it really comfortable. And actually, I need to grab one of these. I accidentally dropped my toothbrush uh, <laughs> earlier and I haven't been able to brush my teeth. That's not good. So, very, very cool little area, waters and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Henry, thank you. I'm glad you appreciate that. I always love to show everybody all this stuff, and there's just so much amazing things to learn. Um, are you going to visit any genealogical libraries while you are there? Uh, no, I'm not. I thought about possibly going to the, um, the Family Search Library, but just timing and everything it just ended up being too much and i didn't really have anything specific planned out to really do there and usually if you go that's kind of the best way to treat it is have an idea of what you want to do um let's see is there anything else i need from here before i forget i think i'm good okay <laughs> let's go so so yeah so for those who end up speaking or doing media and stuff they really do a lot to give us benefits so, so we'll keep walking around, keep walking around. Let's flip it around for y'all. And I'm trying to keep an eye on chat, so keep the questions coming, keep everything coming. So the wonderful help desk, they're very helpful. And then you can see the little that grocery store. So yeah, they've got food. So if you're coming to Rootstack, you're worried about eating food while you're here, they've got lots of lots of options. So Another view of the expo hall. We got Rhett Heidman over there. So we'll get a good overview. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey. So here, you can get a really big overview of the expo hall. Watch some people playing pickleball. <laughs> so going down this way, we've got tons of more rooms. And down here, this, these are the rooms where I've been teaching at. How many talks are you planning on attending? Um, I attended three yesterday. Um, I have my class that I teach tomorrow at 8 a.m. And then, I don't know. I, I have to look at my schedule, see how many uh, I plan for tomorrow. I usually don't do too many. Try to keep it somewhat light. So, <laughs> my cousin was a former professional tennis player. Nice, John. All right, let's give you views of other people walking. If you ever come to Montana, you have a friend. Thank you, Bradley. Yeah, I guess I guess with all of you, I got friends around the world. So.
Let's keep going. So these are the 55 rooms. These are the ones that people have to take a hike to get to. So walk in, walk and walk in. So here we've got the 55 rooms. So this is where I've been teaching the 155s and the 255s. And so yeah, this is a serious, serious overview. So much, so much stuff available. So, so up this way, they have the 255 rooms. The 255 rooms up here. Oh, and such a perfect person to run into as well. So, a colleague I used to work with who now took my job. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a live stream. Would you want to? So, hello. So, this is Sally Reese, who is with DNA Labs International, yes. who took my former job. Yes, I did, so, Jarrett. <laughs> but I, I gave it up. It's not you like did. you stole that's it. So, right. that's right. So, for all the folks wondering, what's DLI doing without Jarrett? They are in great hands. They have Sally, they have Shira, they have Allison. Yes. And I imagine more interns coming and all sorts of stuff. Always, always growing. So, always yeah. growing. I want to introduce you to a new oh. friend of mine. Hi. Hi. She has a brilliant um, plan um, that, that they are working on. And it is using DNA matching for transplant, finding transplant Interesting. Um, donors for very um, challenging populations, ethnicity. Yeah. So people who have blood cancers, who don't have a potential donor on the global stem cell registries, we have them test with the DNA sites and then we reach out to all of their DNA matches with messages from the patient saying, hey, we're cousins, ethnicity is important in a stem cell donor. Would you consider registering and potentially being a life-saving match for me or somebody like us? And Very interesting. What, if it's people called marrow mates. Marrow mates. Marrow mates, yes. Cool. So, so, yeah. So, I mean, I've got tons of people all around the world oh, watching right now. Well, so It's free of charge. We have private funding. Uh, we supply the DNA kits. We do Ancestry and 23andMe, and then we upload to MyHeritage. We're partnering with Gift of Life Registry. And if anybody needs our services, look us up and give us a call. Cool. Well, and the best place to look you up at? Uh, MarrowMates.org. Perfect. No, perfect. So, yeah, so much, so much amazing stuff going on. <laughs> I, amazing people doing you. amazing <laughs> projects. And yes. yeah, thank you, Sally. So yeah. So happy to meet you. It was wonderful to see you, Jarrett. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm this so is happy for your new adventure. For as many calls and zooms that we've yes. done, yeah. this is the first time, the first day we've met in person. Yes, it is. So, oh, and this was, and I, and we started when you were, I, you were the intern and I was the trainer. Yes. Yes, so absolutely. one, so you're also one of the interns. I get to say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. so cool, yeah. so cool, yeah. so yeah, I'm walk I just walked around the entire expo hall, oh you can probably God. tell them, <laughs> but now I'm walking, I almost 14,000 steps yesterday, oh yeah, Amazing. so yeah. now I'm kind of going around and showing the rest, because I had some people asking, well, where are the classes, there you well, go. let me show you the massive yeah. rest of yeah. the building, so yeah. yeah, we've got a lot of people in here, I've got one, whoa, so yeah. very cool, more very woes. cool, yeah, more <laughs> woes, let's, let's put some, it's some emojis in the chat, it's brilliant, so yeah, it really is. That's Andrea, that's very cool. My husband, yeah. My husband Jeff was the founder, and he was a donor to a young lady who was 16 with uh, leukemia. So that's how we got started. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, it looks like I have a question. Hey, just curious if they have any resources having to do with orphan train riders at the conference. Okay, that's a different question. Yeah. Not that <laughs> so, I have yeah. So <laughs> ironically, Sardonicles will get to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So good, well, to good to see you too. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Bye. So, all right, so here you can see all of these are, all of these are classrooms. So every time you see one of those boards in front of it, so these are the 255s. Then there are also the 155s. So, um, but yeah, ironically, sardonically, for your question, I am not sure. Um, Teresa, are you recording your class to share with your followers? I am not. Um, the two classes I'm giving, I kind of have YouTube equivalent videos. The one that I gave today was about the Alliance Colony in Amo Lam, which was a video that I did quite recently. Oh, you know, we're going to go this way. 
video I did quite recently, um, the talk I'll be giving tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's uh, success with Jewish genealogy, overcoming issues of endogamy. And that one is uh, kind of a mixture of different videos and stuff. So I'm not recording them directly and putting them up. You know, part of it is, uh, you know, beyond YouTube, I do uh, speak as a way to make revenue. So I try not to have these talks available online so that it gives me the ability to go and talk around to people who actually want to see it. Uh, do you work with some of the large DNA testing companies? I work with pretty much all of them. I'm friendly. The only company that I don't really have friends with at the company is 23andMe. Otherwise, I'm well, actually, I guess, living DNA. But very friendly with a lot of the folks at MyHeritage, very friendly with a lot of the folks at Family Tree DNA, very friendly with a lot of the folks at uh, um, what, what Ancestry. There we go. How could I forget Ancestry? So right now we're back in the hall. Going to be ending the stream soon. We just hit two hours. Excuse me, are you a boy or a girl? Yeah, it... it uh, seriously good good job good job trying to uh trying to troll but yeah talk about a bad troll you're not even good at it excuse me are you even a troll <laughs> i don't know what it is with this stream but so many of you trolls are here oh hello my ginger brother so You know, one nice thing about having all these trolls comment like that is it's really easy to just boom, hide them, and now you get to never comment on the channel again. So. Yeah, maybe it has to do with the whole shorts thing. I don't know. So, but like I said, trolls and negative people and all that just means that I'm getting out widespread, lots of people able to see it. And that means that I'm also going to be reaching lots of people who actually enjoy this stuff and actually do this and build their family trees. So, yeah. Whew. So I'm going to catch up with Jeannie because tonight I'm doing the Jeannie Curator's Dinner. We do a dinner for the curators. They hook us up with a nice, nice meal. So we've got a troll with uh, with multiple sock puppet accounts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hide user from channel. I don't know. I mean, people are just idiots. I mean, he's <laughs> making looks like I'm a girl or something. I mean, this is it's it's idiotic. Hello, hello. Hey, I'm on live stream and now so are you. So, yeah. So, are you still on live stream? I am still on live stream. I still am on live stream. So, yeah. <laughs> Stop by the oh, booth early. I've got someone I need you to talk to. Um, have you heard of the National Homestead Museum? Oh, yeah, I was talking to them already. The people in the park rangers outfits. Yes. Yeah, I already spoke to them. They were on my stream. Okay, because, so. because I thought that um, the woman there had uh, thought that the, uh, the New Jersey um, colony might be kind of interesting because it's similar. It's a similar concept. Yeah, so I'll talk to them about that because some of them actually did use some of the communities out in the uh, those areas tried to use the homestead stuff. So, yeah, I'll definitely that'll okay, be interesting. So it. cool. So, all right. Well, I think I think at this point we've been going for over two hours. So thank you, everybody. And um, I think this is going to be the end of the stream. Trolls, you know, whatever. If you, Yeah, it doesn't matter. Everyone that was here, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you were able to get a really good view of, G of uh, Roots Tech, what's available here, the Expo Hall, and try to make your way out for next year.